Well, it's winter time right now and outside there is snow and there's ice and I walk a lot for my commute and I wanted a new pair of boots this year because I didn't want to walk on the ice and slip and fall. So I did a bit of research looking for some sort of boot that had a grip on it that was really fantastic for icy weather and I ended up settling on these pair of Uggs. And these pair of Uggs actually have a special grip on the bottom that makes them better for icy days. And you can see I've been wearing them for the last couple of weeks and you can see maybe on camera you can see the um, all the little gravel in it. That's because I, I've been wearing them every single day since I got them. You can see the part of the grip that's an, a darker black and it has the blue flex and that is all the Vibram ice grip and the rest of it is just a regular some type of rubber. And the ice grip is meant to work really well on wet ice and if you feel it it's actually a little bit you can feel it's a much grippier than the regular um, rubber but it wasn't until yesterday when we had some freezing rain that I was able to really test them out. Today we went outside out onto our driveway. Our driveway is on a slant so it's perfect for testing out how grippy these uh, grips actually are. So I tested it to see how far I could slide down my driveway. The answer is I could slide a fair ways down the driveway. <laughs> tested it to see how easy it was to walk up the driveway. I could walk up the driveway fairly easily but I slipped quite a bit. Some people claim that these grips are almost as good as wearing ice spikes on the bottom of your boots. I wouldn't say that they are because you still slip quite a bit. And I thought I should test them out compared to my old winter boots. So these are what I was wearing the last couple of years. I bought these at Costco. They're really inexpensive, a quarter of the price of the other boots. You can see the, the sole on the bottom is just your very typical winter boot. It you know has some grip for walking in a bit of snow. It doesn't have anything special for ice. I tested it outside today too. Sometimes I would feel like it was actually better than the other boots and then all of a sudden my leg would be flailing out. So I think in the end it's actually a lot worse because these are a lot more unpredictable. One moment you're walking along fine and the next moment your leg is flying out from under you and you definitely don't want that when you're walking on ice. So I'm probably not going to wear these older winter boots when it's icy outside. They're okay when it's snowy but uh, for ice they're really really unpredictable and you don't want that when you're walking on the ice. So I thought I should also compare it to a pair of the slide on ice spikes and I just picked these up and they look like this when you buy them. I bought these at Costco. I think they were 10 or $15 for the pair. Um, so really not very expensive. They're easy to carry around in your backpack um, when you're out and about. And I just put them onto a pair of summer shoes and went outside to test it out. Turns out with these you can run, you can jump, you can do everything you want to do on the ice except for slide. So these are fantastic when it's really really icy outside. Unfortunately the downside with these is they're really hard to put on, take on and off. I've worn them out to the transit center and then have to find somewhere to sit down and pull them off because you can't really wear them inside because once you get onto tile that's really slippery. When I was on the ice you can see gouges in the ice. So it would do the same thing to um, the hardwood floor. The other downside is they, they're quite loud so you can hear them actually biting into the ice. Once you get onto a sidewalk that maybe has been properly cleared you hear this loud clackety clack and everyone can hear you. Um, you can get some that are easier to put on. They're a lot more expensive. I've seen them for about $55. Um, you might be able to find them cheaper where you are, but so far I haven't seen any that are that inexpensive. So these are definitely another option, but they're not necessarily perfect. And in the end, none of them are perfect. Um, the ones that I will be wearing a lot are my new Uggs, and that's because even though I did slip a fair amount, it was definitely a more predictable slip. I wasn't slipping as far as with my old boots so I might slip a couple inches versus six inches and that's a substantial difference. They're also really comfortable. Um, they're soft, they're warm. Um, these ones are suede but they're actually waterproof. Yesterday because it was raining a bit and um, some of the snow that had already fallen was melting. I walked through some puddles 
and they're still really clean. So in the end, none of them are perfect, but some I think are better options depending on the ice you're facing outside.